Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. This week we bring you something exciting, fresh, and new. You guessed it, the weekly update. Starting off, we have these five special cards, with three being brand new. The first I'd like to go over is Pesky Gob. You guys have seen the tutorials, whatnot, and everything, but you haven't been able to play him, until now of course. He has been recently added to the dropbox, and he is your level 1 vanilla minion that will help you out in many situations. With that 20 buffness, you can't complain for a level 1 minion. Now for another guy, Club Orc, was mentioned definitely not as much as Pesky on the tutorials, but as a level 3 for 40 buffness, you can't complain about that either. He's definitely a useful minion to have, especially when the opponent calls a clash and you need something in response. I know I went through those two cards pretty fast, but that's because I'd like to hold the rest of this video for the final three cards. The first one I'll introduce is Bully Beetle. Bully Beetle is special in the sense that although he starts at a mere 5 buffiness, he gets stronger with the tougher guys you have. For each other friendly level 2 or higher minion you have in this Clashington, he gains an extra 10 buffiness. If you have all those big minions in that Clashington, he's better than your typical pesky gub. For our next card, we have Hurlwind Vile cost one action to play, but what it does is that it returns all the conscious minions in a Clashington to their owner's hands. His drawback is that you can't play a minion in that Clashington that turn, and that you don't have an action available in that Clashington during your next turn either, but hey, this could be a very useful card, especially if your opponent has been placing a lot of minions in that Clashington and you've been lacking. Our fifth and final card that will be introduced for this week's update is Fort Boderer. He is a special guy because he's a new type that hasn't been mentioned before. He is a carny minion. He lets you search for a non-item event card and put it into your hand. Now I know this sounds very similar to Almanac's Farmer, but he mixes things up a bit. As opposed to the circumstances or the soil cards, you could search for a variety of cards, such as Papers, Please, or... Well, now that I think about it, there's still a lot of cards to be shown. But still, he is very useful because a lot of the cards that will be coming out, especially next week, will introduce some non-item events that can be very helpful in situations. Anyways, that is all for this week. I advise all you out there, you Clash Commanders, to keep on clashing.